As the Jets continue to look for long-term offensive line pieces, they're going to bring in stop gaps, bring in guys with high upside. One of those players is the former third-round pick, Pat Elfline, who the Jets just claimed on waivers. J-E-T-S, Jets, Jets, Jets! Welcome to Jets Talk. My name is Ryan. I'll be your pilot today. If you're new here, hit that subscribe button. If you've been here before, welcome back. I love having you here. Guys, we are talking Pat Elfline, the former third round pick, 70th overall, center out of Ohio State. This was a pick the Jets actually owned. The Jets owned the 70th selection in the 2017 draft and traded it to the Minnesota Vikings. At the time, there was a lot of Jet fans, myself included, really upset that we did not draft Pat Elfline. To put it in perspective, he was a national champion in college in 2014. He won the Remington Trophy, which goes to the best center in college football. So when the Jets, who were going through their own offensive line issues at the time, passed on Elfline, a lot of Jet fans just went, ugh, <laughs> we had someone we could have taken. Now, that being said, looking at his career in the NFL so far, he has been in the league. This is his fourth season. He really has not played that well. He had an okay 2017 campaign, but really since then has been a pretty lackluster uh, offensive lineman. He has played center. He has played guard. So a little bit of flexibility there across the offensive line. Basically, the Jets would be taking on the remainder of his contract for this season. It's about a million dollars. So the Jets are going to lose a million dollars on their cap space, but they get to look at a player that they may want to sign long-term after the season, or maybe they were, were looking at possibly getting him at the end of the season anyway. Uh, where he has excelled is run blocking. This year he has a 70.3 grade over the course of his career. He's kind of been around that 64, 66, 70 overall in the run blocking game. Pass blocking, he has been atrocious. 25.4 this year. Again, that's only in one game. He's only played one game this season. He was on IR. And when the the Vikings activated him the last few days, they were he went up to management, I would think, and <laughs> said, Hey, you know, am I getting my you know my starting spot back? And they're like no. <laughs> so on waivers he goes, and the Jets inherit this this deal. So what do I think about it? I think it's a relatively decent shot in the dark. I'm not really expecting a whole lot uh, out of him, but, you know, he's 26 years old. The Jets could be looking at this, and Joe Douglas specifically, since he's a former offensive lineman, is touted for drafting offensive linemen and scouting offensive linemen. This is an area that I think is worth a, worth a shot in the dark. At the very least, you, you bring in a guy who might just need a change of scenery to kind of recapture the 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 excitement that was the his rookie year. Hopefully the Jets can get something out of this guy. Again, I'm not expecting a whole lot out of it. Stab in the dark. Does it help us with the tank? Eh, probably not. We're going backwards now. We're getting guys that might help us. No. <laughs> I'm kidding. All right. I like the pickup. I think it's reasonable for the amount of money that we're getting in for. Guys, let me know what you think of everything down below in the comments. And as always, go Jets. J -E -T -S, 